That's, that's a mansion. Looking a bit om ominous. Yeah, that's the black and white version of my, of my uh, mansion and the uh, metal gates, grids and stuff. Mm. Not looking very friendly, not letting anyone out, not letting anyone in. Yeah, and that's me looking out of the window of the mansion. There I am. <laughs> yeah. What have you enjoyed about this class? Oh, it's good. It's good uh, opportunity to uh, to work hard. And um, no, the people look great. I'm always learning more skills. Yeah. So you're developing a folio, really, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And it's been a, uh, an amazing introduction to a, a really interesting group of people. Um, I've learned a lot about their uh, stories and them, them as individuals through the work that we've um, that we've done. It's, a, it's an illustration workshop, so drawing the illustration work, so, workshop. So we looked at um, what makes a story a story. You need a place, you need a character, you need something to happen. Um, we looked at characters as well, um, trying to really flesh them out, uh, look around them from above them, um, exploring emotional um, extremes and um, uh, narrative. Today on the last day we got together and we bound them all together into books. Um, so the, the participants have made their own front and back covers and um, bound those into, together into beautiful books. Uh, Lisa's actually added extra pages in hers so she can keep going with it because she wasn't really prepared for the story to end at, at the moment. So. Yeah, it's just been a wonderful experience. I know I've had a great time, met some fantastic people. Mm. So they started to see these visual techniques in the flesh and realised that there was more to this than just, you know, taking mass snaps. Although I think they were able to also realise that even some of their snaps could have been represented and sequenced to a point where they actually had more meaning than they had originally intended or, you know, had attributed to them. And so the idea of a small visual story or a narrative within a work made them get into the work a bit more than just stay on the surface of the work. And some of them brought up some pretty emotional ideas. I mean, one girl did some fabulous stuff in the playground, which was quite empty and eerie and um, almost frightening. And yet it was really powerful stuff. And she connected with it and she suddenly saw that she could actually make a story almost out of nothing. And yet it was an important story. It wasn't just something she'd manufactured for the day. And so digital photography has really been a big learning curve for me, but um, it's been very, very interesting and it's renewed my love of photography. When I was at school, I was always put down for my artwork. Um, so, you know, that sort of thing used to happen and probably still happens. Um, and it's only since I've been at Reformer and starting to do some artworks that I have found that, okay, I do have abilities in certain areas. And that's been important to me.